1939 Indian Sports Scout Bobber. Why is it a bobber? Well, they bobbed off all the stuff that's not necessary. There's no front fender. There's a little teeny abbreviated seat. And the rear fender looks like it came off the front fender of a newer Harley. Newer maybe from the 60s or 70s maybe. So the little bob job here. The battery box is empty because there is no battery in it currently. So let's have a look. There's the serial numbers, FDA, Linkert carburetor, the air box is off right now, we have the air box tank shift on the left side, girder front end, a real moto light headlight. Missing grips, that's easy enough. Traditional dash with the speedometer in the middle and the ammeter up top left and ignition on the right. Gas on the left, oil on the right in the front and gas in the back. Of course, that's the 710 fluids oil. Horn and no grip, but thro internal throttle. A real brake lever, not a repop. Toe to go for the clutch. Excuse me, heel to go for the clutch. I'm talking my Harley days. Looks like it was last registered and ridden in 19, excuse me, 2020. I'm gonna zoom in on that. New York. Little license plate is off on the left with the brake light. No chain guard, a solid rear sprocket, and uh, our dog Scout checking out the Indian Scout. Kickstarter, the starter gear that's sprung and hubbed. The timer, the floorboards, 12 volt generator. Looks like it was built by somebody with a purpose. And the purpose was to have fun. And that's the idea of an Indian Scout, or even more so, the Bobbers. They handle well, they're light and flickable, the rigid rear frame is good, uh, it reduces weight, and there you have it. It is for sale. And there is no title, but it does have a New York transferable registration with it. This is Buzz Cantor talking about motorcycles.